everybody. Welcome to the workshop. Today, we're going to be installing an all balls racing winch to a utility vehicle. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got our all balls racing 6,000 pound winch, and this is the rope model. And then we've got a universal mount bracket. Now that mount bracket comes with, of course, the uh, hardware to attach it to the bottom of our winch. And it's got a lock washer and flat washer for each bolt. And then we got our fair lead. Okay, this is where the rope's gonna come through here. And this is gonna act as a guide for the rope as it's going in and out. It mounts with the hardware you see here. We've got the bolt and then there's a whiz nut. And then we've got a cable stopper. Of course, the rope comes through here and then it attaches to our clevis hook, and this is what prevents it from drawing in too far, and it acts sort of as a shock. And then of course the clevis hook itself, and then we got sort of a pull rope or strap that we could use to you know, guide the, the rope out and in as we are pulling it to you know, hook into something. Then we got our instruction sheet for the winch kit. We also have, our power wires and ground wires. We're gonna use these to actually run from our winch to our contactor and from our contactor to the battery. Now our contactor is basically what helps control the power to turn the winch on and off. And there's two ways that we can operate this. There is a manual switch operation, okay? And then we got the switch harness and that's gonna connect up to our contactor. And then we've got a remote, actually, remote control operation. This is our transmitter, and this is the receiver. And of course, this wires in here to our contactor, and this is what's gonna receive the signal to activate the winch, go forward and reverse. So the next piece we're gonna be discussing is the winch mounting bracket kit. Now this is where we're gonna use this bracket to install on our vehicle. And it is specific to the vehicle that we're installing on. So you'll need to make sure you order the correct one from your Power Sports dealer. Now on the bracket itself, this is where our winch is gonna mount. And then on the back side, these six hole locations is where the actual winch bracket is gonna to attach to our vehicle. You can see there's four bolt holes right here where my fingers are. And we'll use this associated hardware with it along with the lock nuts. And then on the top here, you'll see there's two further holes and that's gonna be for our support channel. Now this support channel will actually sandwich in between one of the frame members on the vehicle and it kinda of stiffens this area up. And then of course the two bolts and along with the two lock nuts is used to do that. Then we have our instruction sheet. Now the instruction sheet you'll need to refer to for all the detailed instructions specific to your vehicle. Now I would say that all the processes that we're doing for the installation of the, on the utility vehicle for the winch will be common amongst all the vehicles, but a lot of the details, how to route the wiring, how to do specific things will be called out in the, the instruction sheets. So make sure you refer to those for your specific vehicle you're installing on. We're gonna go ahead and remove our hood assembly. Well, we'll wanna remove the battery cover. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove our bumper. So next, we're gonna install our winch mounting bracket. So we're gonna need our bracket. We're gonna need our support bracket along with our six bolts and our six nuts. All right, we got our winch bracket on. Now we're ready to mount our winch. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our winch and we're gonna mount it to our universal bracket. And we're also gonna go ahead and run our rope through our fair lead and attach the fair lead to the bracket. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut our zip tie. And I'm gonna manually release the rope so I can kind of pull it some. I'll lock it back. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and run that through our fair lead. And the next thing we're gonna do is take our cable stopper and we're gonna to have to take the rope and push it through. 
It's a little difficult, but it can be done. So now we can go ahead and hook up our clevis hook. And now we're together. All right, so now we've got that done. We're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put this and kind of put it in position. And I'm gonna grab my hardware and we're gonna go ahead and take this over and we're going to put it onto the vehicle. Now, I've already got my cap screws. I've got a lock washer and a flat washer. And I'm mounting from the bottom. There's four holes and it's threading up into the winch itself. So I'm gonna to have to get up underneath here, line things up, and then we'll tighten it up. All right, we got all our bolts tight and our winch is mounted. All right, so now we're ready to mount our contactor. The contactor is gonna mount just like I've got it. And we're gonna mount it down in the hood compartment. And if you'll take a look down in here, notice that our radiator cap is right here. And the radiator runs across and it stops about right where this crease is. This flat area has no radiator underneath it. But we wanna make sure we stay to the left of that radiator, we don't wanna poke any holes. So this is gonna mount, this is a piece of plastic actually, it's not metal. We're gonna kind of mount it about right there. So we're gonna kind of put this in place and I'm gonna go ahead and drill these two holes and then I'll remove the contactor to get the last two holes. All right, there was no hardware to mount this in the kit, but this is quarter by one and I've got some whiz nuts that I found also, and we're just gonna mount these into our locations. We got our contactor done. Next thing we could do is we can go ahead and install our manual switch and wire it up. Now we have a couple different options for location. Uh, on this Kawasaki mule, you can see there's three cutouts here. We would just have to finish cutting them out. Or there's one right here beside the light switch. And of course, I believe from a operation standpoint from the seat, this will be the easier location for us. So I believe that's where we're gonna mount it. Um, I'm gonna use a razor knife and just kind of finish. These are scored already from the factory, um, but you should be able to take a razor knife and just kind of work it in and you know create a couple slots along that crease where it's cut out. So, this actually goes through and on the other side behind the fuse block uh, is basically where I'm reaching into. So I should be able to reach from the hood and grab the wire once I run it through. All right, so our switch comes uh, wired from the factory. So we'll definitely not wanna mess with any of the wiring here. Just install it as it is and just make sure that you've got where you can read the writing correctly um, from the seated position. This will just kind of snap into place, so we'll just push it in, okay? And now we're in. So back behind the fuse block is where we're gonna reach to grab, there it is, our wire set. All right, so the first wire we're gonna wire up is the red wire. Pretty simple, it's gonna to go to the red post. You can see each one of these posts are colored. I've got yellow, red, black, and blue. So red on red. Now the next set of wires we're gonna wire is our black wire, and we're gonna grab from the contactor. You can see there is two yellows and two blacks. So you're gonna actually just hook into either one of these blacks, so black on black. And then the next one will be the blue wire and we're going to one of the yellows, doesn't matter which one. And we're gonna plug in that, make sure it engages. And again, blue on yellow. So that's got the switch wired up. All right, so now we're gonna wire up the receiver. This is what the remote is actually transmitting to and what receives a signal and tells the contactor to activate. So basically we've got very similar colors here. You got a red wire, a black wire, a yellow wire, and a white wire. Now I've already put some Velcro tape 
on the back side of this, and we're going to go ahead and mount this in the position that I want to put it. So now, pretty simple, we're going to take the red wire and we're going to put it on the red post where we mounted the switch wire, red wire earlier. Just go ahead and slide that on. All right, so the next wire we're going to grab is our yellow wire. We're going to get, grab the second yellow wire off the contactor and go ahead and plug it in. So yellow on yellow. And then we've got the black wire. And this black wire is actually going to go to the black post. Go ahead and slide that on. And the last wire that we've got to hook up is the white wire. And the white wire is going to go to the last wire on our contactor, which is the black wire. So it will be white on black. And that takes care of wiring the receiver up. Okay, so in your cable set, there's actually two red cables. One that's a little bit longer and one that's shorter. You'll want to use the shorter one first because we're going to run from the contactor to the winch, and that's the shorter run. So we're going to grab one end of our wire, and we're see this conduit right here, this gray conduit? We're going to run right beside it, and there's a hole down here we're going to push down through. All right, so you see the red wire that I've stuck down through. And what we're going to do is we're going to run along this frame rail. So I'm going to grab the wire. And I'm feeding it from the top. And we're going to tie, zip tie all this up right here on this frame rail. Come down this way right here by the winch. And then we'll hook in with our red wire right here on the winch. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that now. All right, so notice I've got my zip tied cable up along this rail and I secured it really good to make sure it doesn't come loose. You want to make sure it doesn't get anywhere near this shock tower and that's why we're making sure it zip ties up there really good. And we went ahead and mounted our cable onto our winch on the positive side, which is going to be on the back side. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run our shorter black cable now. And we're going to run it right beside the red one and do the exact same thing on the bottom side that we did earlier. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wire up our negative post. I've already wired the red one up. You can see I've got the protective boot on there, the red one. And I wanted to show you that. You're just going to basically feed this over. Once you get that on, then we can just go ahead Pull one washer off, leave one washer on. I'm going to bend that wire back and run it again right up along the red and we'll zip tie up. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and wire up our contactor from the winch motor up to the contactor post here. Now the red wire, and I've already went ahead and installed our boots on, is going to go on the yellow post. And on the contactor itself, it says M positive. M for motor, positive being the positive side of the motor. We'll slip our boot over it. And now we're going to do the same thing to our black wire to the blue post. And it's marked M negative. All right, there we go. We've got our winch motor wires installed to our contactor, and now we can move on to our battery wires to the contactor. This Kawasaki Mule is a newer one, it's a 2021, and the nice thing about there at Kawasaki, they've evidently run us an electrical conduit that is empty, and it goes all the way back to the battery. So we got a little trick here we're gonna try. We've got some pull wire, some electrical pull wire. This is just nylon pull rope and I've tied a little piece of paper towel to it, and we got our shop vac, and we're gonna actually suck the wire up through the conduit with the shop vac, running it from the battery up to the compartment, and we could use this to pull our battery cables, you know, basically to our battery through the conduit. It don't take much, it fit a lot in there. All right, so our cable set that we got with the winch, on the Kawasaki Mule, 
they're not long enough to make that run from the contactor back to the battery. So there's an alternate kit or accessory kit that you'll have to get uh, if you have a Kawasaki mule from your Power Sports dealer. There are 11 foot wires. So they're both black. One's labeled in a yellow color and a blue color. But uh, we'll actually run these because they're longer in length. Okay, so we got our cables run. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide our protected boot covers back on. And remember, there's a blue and there's a yellow. Now we're gonna use yellow for positive. And that is gonna to go to the battery positive terminal where we have the other two small red wires you know, sitting on right now. I do not have the battery connected at the moment. Just to make sure everybody understands the battery is not connected. And then our blue wire, blue terminal end wire, we're gonna actually hook up to the battery negative, which is the black post. So we've got the top side done, and now we need to go down and hook the battery up. All right, so you can see the gray conduit that we run our cables out of, the two battery cables out of. Now, if you don't have the conduit, you're gonna to have to remove the skid plates underneath the vehicle and pull them off, and you'll have to run things by hand, of course, and tie it up to the appropriate frame members, avoid pinch points, and so forth. So just pointing out, we did connect to our battery negative here with the blue, the blue terminal uh, color wire here. And then on the yellow, we connected into the red. So for the positive. And that's it. So we should be able to test out our winch now to make sure it's operational. All right. So now we're going to see if all our work come to fruition. Let's test it out. I'm going to go in first and then we'll go out. All right. I'm going to take it out. Sounds like she's working. Now we can test the remote out as well. Once the LED light is flashing, then we can go ahead and test it out. Looks like we got her running.